So uh, I guess doing a, a beer presentation, this is kind of a tradition these days. My name's John, um, kind of hack bend, in case you didn't know. Brewing beer. This is uh, something that can actually seem like an incredibly daunting topic, but uh, reality is, if you can boil water, you can brew. And we're going to kind of cover that. I mean, it's that easy. So this kind of gives a pretty good idea of uh, what you're going to need to get started for equipment. Um, not going to cover everything, but generally there's going to be some upfront costs. You're going to be expecting about fifty to hundred dollars, probably. Uh, next, we're going to need ingredients. So for this uh, kind of ten-step beer, we're just going to keep, keep it simple. You're going to need seven pounds of liquid malt extract, a two-ounce package of hops, a packet of dried brewer's yeast, and of course, lots of water. I mean, this is kind of an intensive process. <laughs> Number one, most important step, cleaning. It's not a lot of fun, but you need to wash and sanitize everything that you're going to be, that all your equipment that's going to be touching the beer. I use this stuff called Star Sand. It's amazing. It makes the cleaning process infinitely easier. It's a 30 second soak time. There's no rinsing involved. It's food grade. This stuff's like magic. Once we get to the cleaning done, we can actually get to the brewing process. So first off, we're going to bring about three gallons of water to boil on your stove, add your liquid malt, and then add about an ounce or half of your hops, and you're going to set a timer for an hour. <clears throat> now, if you like a hoppy beer, you can actually add the rest of your hops after about 45 minutes. Otherwise, you're just waiting. I mean, you're kind of waiting. A lot of this is waiting. Relax, have a beer. Don't wander too far from the kitchen. Otherwise, you might end up with something like this. <laughs> so the boil over, it sucks. It's actually not going to hurt your beer at all, but it's, it's a pain to clean up. If you uh, turn your back, it's going to do this to you, almost guaranteed. Once the boiling's done, we want to get this cooled down as quick as possible. So just drop that pot into an ice water bath on your, <clears throat> in your sink. We want to get it down to about 120 degrees to start with. Then we're actually going to finish that process by just pouring that right into your brewing bucket. Through the strainer, you want to catch all those hops out of there. You don't want hops floating around in there. It's not going to be good. Top this off with cold water until you get to five gallons. That's about your target. Typical homebrew batch is going to be five gallons. This will actually cool it down to the point where we can pitch the yeast. So the dried yeast needs to be rehydrated in warm water, about a half cup. Then you're going to add that into the, right into the beer, seal it all up with your lid and your airlock, and uh, fermentation. You just wait. Another step of waiting. You're going to be about a week's worth of waiting. Gives you time to think about <laughs> bottles. That's your big need at this point. You're going to need about 50 empty bottles, and you can actually buy them directly, but it's more fun to do what I do. There's a foul. Cleaning, and there we go. <laughs> cleaning is actually uh, going to be doing more of that. Cleaning bottles is more tedious, and cleaning the floor is going to suck. But after cleaning uh, all those bottles, we've got to prepare priming sugar. This is actually going to be a simple sugar solution. It's two cups of water, two-thirds cup of sugar, and it's just boiled, cooled, and added right into your bottling bucket. That bottling bucket, then you're going to transfer the beer into with that sugar. And this is actually a process called racking. It's basically siphoning. You're siphoning it from one to the other. And if you're familiar with siphoning gas from a car, it's the exact same process. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to drink anymore of this at this point. So bottling is actually uh, pretty self-explanatory. You're going to fill a bottle, and you're going to seal it with a cap. I actually like this process a lot because it's kind of a production process, and you get to see it all kind of come together. I mean, the fruits of your labors are kind of right there before you. And then our final step, conditioning. This is actually the <laughs> technical terms. It's the process by which the remaining yeast in the beer are eating that priming sugar, carbonating the, the beer within those bottles. But really, the layman's terms that you're looking for is it's making the beer fizzy. So. <laughs> This is actually a process, again, waiting. You're going to have about two to three weeks worth of time to get this beer conditioned properly. But the good news is, at the end of this time, it's ready to drink. And you can open a beer and drink away. So <laughs> seriously, the best thing you can do is uh, open up that very first homebrew you've ever made. I mean, it's amazing. I'm going to try and drink a little bit and see what happens. Uh, not bad. So. 
I could, I could actually talk about beer and brewing all night, but they give me five minutes. So I wanted to leave you with one thing. The brew shop in town, they have uh, pretty much all the knowledge, equipment, and ingredients you're going to need to be able to get down there and brew beer, and they love to talk to newcomers about it. Thank you very much.